Alright guys, welcome back to Aleste on MSX. Alright, that's an upgrade for number 3, but it's not the double yet. So yeah, this is part number 2 of Aleste. Punch them up. Super hard. Especially level 2, I mean, it, the level was endless. But I think I know why it was happening. Most of my deaths. Mostly because I left enemies alive. Which uh, I shouldn't allow. So I can survive a little longer. So, I mean, the, the, the area was not just filled with enemies or with bullets, but also with the enemies that were shooting them, so it, it is it was my responsibility in a way. That's probably the disadvantage of the laser. It's powerful and everything, but um, it covers very little space. I have these things. I'm gonna prioritize what to shoot first. Yeah, I, I gotta shoot all of these blue things. I know that. All right, I, they're not giving me time to make a save state. Remember, I'm not shooting anymore. I'm just moving. Even though it had an auto fire option at first. All right, I'm recovering the lives I've been losing. So, what is this arm three thing I been looking at? Yeah, these are the enemies that were shooting the white things all the time. Alright, we, we are starting the bullshit once again. Alright, let me see if I can actually destroy some of these black things. I keep calling them pieces of destroyed ships. Maybe they are not, but whatever they are, they follow me. And I don't like that. So I'm destroying them. Going back and forth, which is, seems to be the quote unquote strategy. Oh no. Yeah, too many things to kill. There is a little bit of slowdown, which should help in theory, but. All right. I was doing fine, actually, in, in going back and forth. But yeah, it gets out of control very fast. Yeah, it, it was either the black things or the blue things. Yeah, I, I think I, I seem to run out of uh, power unless I pick something up on accident, which is a possibility. Uh, this thing is, yeah, the first part of the level could looks very nice and and and, and doable, but then back to reality. This is what the game is going to be like. Until the very end. Alright, it's like a triple laser type of thing. Kind of slow though, I don't like it very much. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt how powerful it is, even though I just shot a laser to the, uh, to the blue thing and it didn't do anything. So, yeah, can't wait to get something else this again. Ah, come on. Save me now. Yeah, whatever weapon appears in front of me, I'll pick it up. Whatever it is. Ideally number three, of course. That's number one. Three number ones. Alright, that could be of use. Yeah, it's hard to prioritize what to go for first. We got, okay, it's going to be giving you a little bit of everything, number twos, I guess, now they're going to give you number threes, which is what I'm going for, even though, yeah, I died right before I could pick them up. Which sucks, may your ass. Even though number one is pretty useful here, as you can tell, since... I'm moving to the sides a little bit, I'm able to kill those 
black enemies that are staying on the sides of the screen. As a matter of fact. See, now I am in a sort of disadvantage. Alright, now I got a little bit more protected. Maybe number four is ideal for, for this kind of section. So I should start memorizing. Yeah, I mean, remember I'm not even shooting. I just need to move a little and make the shield or whatever it is uh, rotating to protect me to destroy the enemies. Actually, that's very useful. Yeah, but as I said before, or in the last part, I sacrifice attack power because of that. I become very defensive, which is good. Now, maybe that things would improve dramatically. Or maybe not dramatically, but would improve for certain if I get a second number four. Okay, that makes my shield bigger. But my regular shot is still as shitty as ever. You know, I, I'm okay with this. Sometimes, no matter how powerful your weapons are, if you have a shitty strategy to avoid bullets and enemy attacks, there is no good attack that actually helps. So let's see if I can get a third number four. I mean, not necessarily to make my shield even bigger, but if I can at least improve my frontal shot, it will be very cool too. But yeah, this in this section I've been doing just fine for the last minute or so without being myself at risk. Oh, except there, of course, because I have a big fucking fat mouth. But in general, this is not as tedious as it was at some point. Number six, I don't want to change. A third number four would be pretty cool to, you know, find out how better my shit can get. Yeah, the black things ended up killing me again. There are too many things coming at me at once, so it's hard to prioritize what I want the shield to touch in the end. Alright, I see a bunch of numbers. Double shield. Still my frontal shot is full of ass. Uh, these fuckers need to die. And balls. Alright, I'm changing for the balls only. Even though I don't think that was a good idea. You know why? Because it, it, I picked up the number one, but I still have a frontal shot. As shitty as this. So I'd rather have the shield. Oh shit. The black things. Doing their shit again. Oh come on, I'm not. I didn't touch it. Something else must have touched me then. Alright, here we have the bunch of numbers. Are there at least. Yeah, only one number two. All right. We have a shit ton of cores. Yeah, I'll do most of the damage with a shield. That also attacks. So yeah, the weaknesses basically frontal shot and that I need to, you know, proximity. I have to be very close to the enemy in order to deal some damage. Some decent damage. Even though, yeah, again, this is good distance, I guess. Yeah, I'm do I am getting rid of the course, even from a distance. And yeah, I did it with a regular shot. The shittiest, quote-unquote, Okay, I'm going to stop this here. Actually, in the previous video was much longer than I wanted it to be. So, I am going to stop this here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time with more Aleste.